Did your shots hurt? No. Y'all all did so good. So proud of all y'all. My boob feels a little bit dry. All I can think about now is what Dr. Kimball said, you know, I mean, like become the parent that I swore I'd never be with like the quick fix meal, you know? Never wanted to be the chicken nugget mom and have turned into the chicken nugget mom. But cooking dinner for six kids takes forever. And if you're in a rush, like you just don't have, I mean, you don't have the time. I mean, take these five kids home and you try to, <laughs> Every dinner with them. I mean, I mean it's, it's tough. We've got to try to get these kids to eat something green. The girls are at an age where they need to start developing good eating habits. And we have to figure out something, because we're not eating nuggets every day. <laughs> Maybe we take them to lunch or something and like just order a tray of like different veggies and see what they like, see what they don't like. Mommy has your thumb in her hands. No, I don't. I saw you. All right, girls, are y'all ready to eat? Yeah. Who's going to try the most vegetables today? Veggies and grass. Huh? Later today, I'm meeting my sisters for our first business meeting. But right now, we're taking the quints to their favorite restaurant. We usually sit in the back, girls. Talking to Dr. Kimball was a total wake-up call. We got to get these girls eating better. So that means less sugar and more vegetables. Girls, we're going to eat vegetables today, OK? I don't mind vegetables. What are you going to get, Mama? Pick. Point at uh -oh. something. What are you going to eat? Chicken and green beans? No, uh, that's Peas? Y'all ready to order? Or do you need a minute? So we are trying to incorporate more veggies into these little kids' meals. Oh, fun. Not yeah, really. not really. I don't know. Do y'all have like a vegetable yeah, medley we'll or something? Bring something out. OK. Uh, Surprise them. Oh, you took it out of my <laughs> I'm candy, not veggies. You want to try the salad with the dressing? Well, that that's, good. that's just salad. Here, bite. No. You want to try the cucumber or the yeah, tomato? No, yeah. You don't know it's yucky, you won't even try it. Wally, look, you have to taste your vegetables. No! Vegetables taste like stocks. Listen up, everybody's eating a vegetable. No. Good job, Parker! Look at Parker's Parker eating it up. That. What vegetables would you put in your garden if we did a garden? Cucumber? Flowers. You want flowers in your garden? Bet those flowers would never have. You got Easter eggs in your garden? Yes. Are we going to do an Easter egg hunt when it's Easter? Easter is right around the corner, and I know these girls are expecting a lot of candy from that bunny. Now, let's eat. But they're going to be in for a rude awakening if they don't eat their greens before then. It's like a. Here. You try. Look. Try it. No. Try it. Eat it. Do a little one. You are four years old. You can eat your vegetables, OK? Yeah. If Daddy takes a bite, will you take a bite? Well, I don't. You have to oh, take a bite. Good you have to try. That was the rules, Olivia. Holy moly. Ooh, cauliflower, some broccoli. This is some good chicken. Don't make her cry. She's like the worst kid to stop crying. I cannot believe that a little bit of broccoli sent these girls into a full meltdown. Parker ate the most, which is a good start. But otherwise, Quince, Quince won. Yeah, Quince are up one. <laughs> we got to figure out some other way to make them eat veggies. Please. Welcome Hi. to Chef of the House. Hi, girls. How are you doing today? Good. good. Right now, we're having issues with vegetables. We've been trying really hard to get the quince to eat better, and we haven't had much luck. But we found a cooking class that specializes in cooking healthy meals. The way that we can get them to try new things is by having them actually join in on the fun of making them. I mean, the girls love being interactive in the kitchen and cooking, so hopefully if they cook the food with vegetables, maybe it would encourage them to eat the food with vegetables. We're making some yummy, delicious pancakes, and uh, we're going to focus on the carrot today, but all the recipes that we have, you can interchange with different vegetables, so. OK. And then, to top it all off, we're going to make some fresh cheese. Are you excited? Do you guys like pancakes? Who doesn't like pancakes? <laughs> 
at your tables, we have everything we need to make ricotta cheese. So here's first, okay? We're going to put all of the milk into the pot. We can put the pot down here, here oh, so yeah. that right. way. Careful. You pour the milk in there, Lou. Okay. Good job. Now, this is the flavoring. Kosher salt. I'm gonna pour it in the milk. I smell it. Does it smell good? Tell, tell mommy, her team is team stink. Mama, your team, team is stink. You stink. Yeah, you stink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to oil, turn the heat up. Pancake time. <laughs> the Quints are really getting into it. I mean, who knew that cooking would bring out the competitor in Riley? You're not good than I, Mommy. <laughs> Tell her, Ry. Ours looks way better. Your pancakes smell like stinky feet. Your pancakes smell like a bobo fart. <laughs> we still need to get these kids to eat pancakes made out of carrots. So maybe we shouldn't be comparing them to Bofarts. That's the one you want? OK. Oh, you want two. I'm just going to put a little bit of ricotta on top. Nice and cheesy and delicious. There you go, Lou. You're going to love it. You need to try it. All right, y'all ready to eat it? Take a bite. Bite it. Hey, you made it. You gotta eat it. Hazel, you wanna try the you wanna try this? No loop. Here, pick it up and eat it. Yeah. Yucky. I don't want that. Alright, Ava's turn. Oh, take a big bite. Take a big bite of your pancake. Good job, Ava. Ava, what you think about it? Yum. It's yum? Yeah, it's yum? Y'all make good High ones? Five. Right, it's yum. High five. Well, we got three out of the five to eat. You want to taste one of daddy's? Yeah. Once again, Parker's being the MVP. I mean, I feel like we're finally getting over the hump. Maybe if we get them cooking at home where they're comfortable, it'll make them want to try new things. And hopefully we can convert all of them. It's worth a shot. Oh, y'all are just piling on that ricotta. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough. Hazel, Ava, you wanna help Daddy come make the garden? No, no. <laughs> All right, hey, y'all come help me. Come on. <laughs> we found that if we get the girls involved in cooking, they'll be a little more inclined to eating healthy. So the girls are getting their very first temporary portable garden. All right, so now we can start putting in the You wanna put soil. the dirt in? Yeah. Okay, go help Daddy. Yay, dirt. Hopefully, this will give them some encouragement to plant and actually eat vegetables. Bobo. What are you doing? Look at how you make this, Bobo. This is a tomato plant. You got to dig a hole like this, OK? Mama. Ooh, strawberries. There you go, Hazel. Go plant Ooh, the basil. Ooh, I smell that. That smells good. Good job, Riley. Is this Hazel Basil? <laughs> Yeah, that's Hazel Basil. Lulu's setting the table. Here, come get everybody's forks. Yeah, mommy, I need you to snoodle. No, we're eating chicken, mashed potatoes, and veggies. No veggies? Buy you for that. It looks like her efforts in trying to get the girls to eat more vegetables is working. Some of the time, anyway. Good job, Rye. But I do think that they are a little bit more open-minded, yeah. which is good. 